All right, YouTube, it's the channel King King Nasru here with a review for Rosalia Vampire 2, Chapter 20. Gin tells the monster and Takahashi to leave Son alone. Uh, and it turns out the monster's name is Tsubaki. And he asks Gin to join Fairy Tale because of his strength and swagger. I thought Tsubaki was a girl's name, considering that uh, the character from Soul Eater is, uh, is a female. But, hey, there's a guy named Courtney in my life, so who am I, who am I to judge? Anyway, Su, uh, uh, anyway, Tsubaki tells Gen about Fairy Tale, and Gen guesses that, uh, they want Sun, too. However, Gen rejects because he doesn't hate humans, and they hurt his best friend's son. Tsubaki, uh, uses the recording of the death melody to threaten Gen, and Tsubaki says the melody comes from their leader, God. Not to be confused with the Judeo-Christian God, just some guy named God. The music causes Takahashi to bleed to death, and uh, Gen starts to suffer side problems because the speakers emit a too low, too low a sound to kill a monster. But this does offer Tsubaki the chance to sucker punch Gen out cold. Meanwhile, the newspaper club is celebrating saving Okami's inn. It turns out Okami is named Marin. We also get some shots of Kurumu's booms and Mocha's ass. Nice. Anyway, uh, the girls start, uh, using their bikinis to seduce Gune, with the exception of Mocha, but Gune says he likes them all equally, as expected. Skune, uh, Sun and Marin say they are grateful for what they did and that they're happy that they can depend on them for any help. Uh, Marin hears the door, and, uh, as she goes to answer it, she remembers how her dead husband and her dreamed of making the end. And she also remembers the sad tragedy that he was killed by God. And, uh, turns out that God looks like an angel. And yes, I know I'm using quotation marks a lot, so that'll be the last time. God arrives at Akami's inn, asking for son, and and saying that he's from fairy tale. Meanwhile, Sun writes uh, to the newspaper club that Marin knows about monsters because of what God did, and if she learns that Sun is a monster, she'll reject her. So Sun uh, asks the newspaper club to keep it a secret. However, God learns about this and deduces that killing Marin will make Sun join fairy tale. God uh, says Sun has a lot of potential that he's never seen in a monster before, so he's really interested in recruiting her. Skuni and Mocha interfere, though, and God uses his voice to create a blast. Uh, then we cut back to Tsubaki, uh, uh, taking Gen to fairy tale. Tsubaki tells Gen that God has visited the end, and that Tsubaki, uh, and that God has the power to control minds. I have yet to see that, but I'll take his word for it. Gins, however, is uh, comedically saying his plan was ruined because he faked his defeat so that Tsubaki would take him to God. Uh, Gin, out of frustration, beats up Tsubaki and goes into the HQ to, I guess, take care of the other henchmen. Yukri, uh, uh, at back at the end, warns that God is a siren. Huh. Go figure. Uh, Misere and Kurumu's, uh, body become none because of God's voice, and Marin starts to grab a post, saying that God killed her husband. And God says that he killed him during a killing spree due to disliking being assigned to a fish hole. Wow. God is a dick. Plain and simple. Sun stops, uh, stops Marin from attacking, and Marin remembers how much she cares about Sun, how she treats 
or like a daughter, and she said, and she tells God to, uh, leave, uh, to leave, and tell all the other monsters to leave the human world alone. Naturally, God laughs at this and informs Marin that Sun is in fact a monster, a, a siren, in fact. Called it. I fucking called it. Anyway, Marin disbelieves that uh, that uh, Sun is a siren and chooses to attack with the post. However, God retaliates against the assault with her with his voice. Fortunately, though, Sun uses her song to negate God's song. Uh, to negate God's song. Uh, Sun writes that she has always thought of Marin as a mother and is sorry for deceiving her. Sun uh, then uses her song again to counter God's song, and the others describe that it's angelic and beautiful. Uh, Marin then reads further into Sun's notepad, and it says that she thanks them and it says good, and this is going to be goodbye. I'm implying that Sun thinks she might die in this battle. Wow. It's rather short, but it's actually pretty good. We also get we can see just how deep the situation is going to be now that uh, these characters are fighting a godlike being again. And uh, Sun uh, is now exposed to Marin. And Marin is just trying to wrap, I mean, wrap her head around this. And what trying to figure out what to do with Sun? I wouldn't exactly call this shit gets a uh, shit gets real moment. I say this is more of a things getting tense. So maybe things will get even more tense and possibly hit shit gets real in the next chapter. So we'll see next time.